Today, friends, I'm going to give you three cool tips for working with Puppy Linux. So let's get cracked. Friends, this is Puppy Linux. It is fast, free, and runs on really old computers. Right now, I am running it in a virtual machine. I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to add apps. And I'm also going to show you where to find the playlist of creations I already have and where to find the latest versions of Puppy Linux. The first thing I want to show you is the quick pet option. The very first page is the info tab. You can right here click for faucet pup updates. When you click that you can see just how fast it finds them, downloads, and adds them. I'm going to just click OK and that's how easy it is to keep things updated. If you want to add a browser there are several right here but I'm going to tell you that this version of Puppy Linux is a bit old. Now one of the neat things was I clicked here and I added Firefox. I'm going to close that and I'm going to show you something cool about the Firefox on Linux. If I go to internet and I launch it, it updates automatically. If we check down here to help and it just lets you see that even though this PC is old, it keeps Firefox update and it runs super fast. Now I created a link right here. I'll show you how to make this real quick. If you click on your home location, and you go up one directory and you find user, share, and then the applications area. You can then drag these onto the desktop. So that's how I made it so I had a shortcut to launch it. If I want to get rid of it, I can right click and remove the item. But I made it so that I can launch my favorite programs just that quickly. Now, if you want the Chrome browser, there's another way to get to that. I'll show you right now. We are going to go to the Puppy Linux Forums. Notice it is the top one when you go to the index page. I do recommend registering. That gives you a lot of advantages by having quick links where you can find your post. And then also make sure you check out the beginner's help area the announcements, and then finally one of my favorites is additional software pets and stuff. You can find all sorts of tools in here. There are posts that help them. I'm going to go right to the browsers and internet. This is where you can find the browser of your choice. Whatever one you are interested in, there is probably a way to install it. When you do click on these, I'm going to go to Brave Portable. That is one that I did enjoy. Note that there will be a ton of information in the beginning usually a place to download it, but you should also check the very end to see what people have been saying lately. There may be updates or tips that you're going to find useful. This is, of course, the best place to find support. If you're looking for the latest Puppy Linux, you can just search Puppy Linux and visit the Puppy Linux home. Of course, first you can learn all about it. You can see all the advantages, a little picture of what it looks like. This is Bookworm Pup. I am using Fossa Pup. I have not tried out Bookworm Pup 64, not because I've got anything against it. I've just not had any issues with Fossa Pup. This shows you how to download it. And then, of course, I've got videos that show you how to install it on old PCs. Real quickly, let me show you how to find those videos. If you visit HL Mod Tech on YouTube, switch to the playlist area, and then click this little search tool and type puppy. When you press enter, it'll show you a couple of videos, and bingo, this is the full playlist. I show you how to add it to a Mac Mini. You can also find other tips for speed, even installing a Windows program using Wine in Puppy Linux. All sorts of quick tips. And of course, I will be adding more as part of this series. Before I close, I do want to show you the install button. When you click on this, the first options are how to install it to a hard drive or a flash drive. This is handy if you want to take Puppy Linux and use it on any computer. You can also click over here and do install applications and find the Puppy Package Manager. In the search box, for instance, you could type browser or graphics and it'll look for all the possible ones. You can see that it's telling us that I have already updated past the one I installed. You could also just search by category. Notice if I move over here to say utilities, 
it gives a list of utilities you can install in just a few moments. I'm going to real quickly switch to fun and let me show you how this works. Let's add the Minesweeper game. When we click on it, it shows up right there. It calculates the space and I'm going to simply hit do it. Right there, it downloaded it, and just like that, it downloaded it and checked to make sure the libraries were there, and I can simply hit OK. And as quickly as that, friends, you can click the menu, click Fun, and check it out. There is the Mind Games. I'm going to do an 8x8. You remember this one where we can click the spaces, and we're just trying to not run into the mines. Of course, bingo, I just hit one, and it's game over. That, my friends, is what I love about Puppy Linux. Everything's free and it's fast. You can take really old hardware and make it usable in minutes. Friends, there you have it. Puppy Linux and adding new apps in just a few minutes. Don't forget, if you're ever stuck, you can always use the forums and you can add comments to the bottom of this video. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget, you absolutely made my day. If you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.